Right, best of attention, please. Welcome to The Bull for our meeting about the next phase of our broadband project. We've got several people here who are going to be tweeting this session and our hashtag, if you want to follow it, is RBC10. That's Reavers Broadband Company 10. So it'll be in all of tomorrow's online newspapers and make sure that you catch up with it by reading paper.li. Does anyone know if there's a spare plug anywhere for my laptop? Just your laptop, John. Don't you need to plug in all that lot? All your iPad, phones, cameras, etc. There's extension cables by the dominoes if anybody needs power. So, thank you to Peggy for putting up the posters and tweeting about the free social media surgeries. I hope you'll all come to the surgeries and share your expertise. However, it seems that we're now pushing more than just ourselves in learning what technology can do for us. The wireless network's clearly beginning to struggle too. It wasn't ever built to do what we're trying to do now, that's why. We've been struggling to get the DEFRA site working and HMRC, but that's not always the connection. It can be the websites too. OK, well, what we need to talk about is where we go from here. The wireless network brought broadband to much of the village when BT didn't want to. But we all know we need fibre to the home now. So, we've taken some advice and it seems we have plenty of options. Have you all read the parish guide from the Great Asby Broadband Group and seen the YouTube videos from Wennet so we're all up to speed? Uh, uh, have you any thoughts? We've got more ploughs at Range Farm that we would be happy to use to dig fibre in a rent village. As in all, I think we need to get together all landowners rent village to talk about wear leaves, equipment and the best routes for the fibre. Can we use the overhead poles that are already in for fibre? Ah, stuff them. Derek and I have come up with a design for a fitting to go on the back of the tractor that can put new poles in. And we found a whole load of setting down poles down Blackpool on eBay. We can have the cheat, we'll do it ourselves. OK, it seems we have little problems finding the manpower, tractors, etc. What about funding? Well, it's costing us now not being able to do what we need for farm and family and business online. Don't know about to others, but as a business, if this is going to be around for our lad and for the next couple of generations, then we'll invest in it, within reason. But, well, lamb sales weren't so bad this year, were they? We really want it, but we might struggle to find money to invest. But we can do other things that might be needed to make it happen, even if it's just coffee for the digger drivers. Right. Can I have a show of hands of people who might be willing to chip in some money or effort to make this happen? Oh, that's everyone. Right. Oh, bloody me, I don't get why you want this. BT are going to get there eventually, and you don't need all this fibre lane to get onto interweb. Waste of time and bloody money is all I say. <laughs> OK, OK, OK. That's Eddie dealt with, so... How many parish councillors do we have here today? Uh, one, two, three, four... Five. Five! That's great. Would the parish council be willing to consider heading up this community effort? After all, you were elected by us and we do trust you to make the right decisions on behalf of the parish. Well, as chairman, I'm, I'm all for this approach. We may have a lot to learn about working together as we have in the past with Village Green, but I'm guessing, and I reckon, we'll find the best way forward. The Secretary's looking into funding sources for long-term loans, like the Public Works Loan Board, we used that in the 1920s for electricity generation from the water mill. Oh, uh, yes, good point. This village has done it all before for other utilities, and it sounds like we could be ready to do it all again. 